Hi, friends. It is really great to be here again making music with you this week. I'm really excited because we have some fun stuff today. So let's get started and read the message together. It starts with, Hello, musicians. Today we will warm up our body and voice, then read a story about a blue cockatoo. We will play the steady beat game, learn the end of the Down by the Bay song, and hear a song tale at the end. Love, Mr. Donnelly. Let's get started with our warm-up. All right, get out those slide whistles, and let's do a couple patterns together. Remember, I'll play my real slide whistle, and you use your voice to make it sound like mine. Here's the first one. Here's another one. Great, go ahead and put those away. And now be my echo using your voice. You who, you who students, you who students, you who students, you who students. Great. All right, let's practice our hand signs first grade. Here's your first pattern, be my echo. Sola so me. So me la. So so la so so me. So so la la so so me. So la me. That one still gets me every time. Mmm, love salami. Let's head over to the piano and sing our warm up song. All right, here we go. Well, hello, everybody. Yes, indeed. Yes, indeed. Yes, indeed. Well, hello, everybody. Yes, indeed. Yes, indeed, my darling. Let's make music. Yes, indeed. Yes, indeed. Yes, indeed. Well, let's make music. Yes, indeed. Yes, indeed, my darling. All right, friends, we're going to practice our steady beat, but today you're only allowed to do the steady beat with me if I'm doing the steady beat. So if I'm going like this, you can do that along with me. If I'm going like this, you're allowed to do it too. If I'm going like this, you're allowed to do it too. But if you see me doing something bumpy, something not steady at all, we call that rhythm. You're going to cross your arms and shake your head, and you're going to think, no way, Mr. Donnelly, uh-uh, that's not a steady beat. Let me give you an example. If you see something like this, <laughs> whoa, that was not steady at all. You're going to cross your arms and shake your head. Mm-mm, mm-mm. If you see something like this, see how bumpy that was? You're going to cross your arms, shake your head, mm-mm. What about this? Uh, Not steady at all, right? Cross your arms, shake your head. But if I do something steady again, you're allowed to you're allowed to copy that steady beat. Are you ready to play? All right, here we go. Remember, if it's steady, you can do it with me. Steady, cross your arms. Here we go. Very steady. Uh oh, are you crossing your arms? Good. Back to a steady beat. All right, I'm going to make it a little bit. 
trickier on you. Good luck. That was fun. Thanks for playing. All right, friends, I have another story for you this week that I'll need your help with. And this week's story is about a blue cockatoo. Oh, look how sad this cockatoo is. And it's called a blue cockatoo because of its color, but also because it's a very sad cockatoo. And sometimes we use the word blue to mean sad. Now, I'm going to need your help with this story. Every time you hear me saying about feeling blue, you're going to make a sigh like this. Can you try that? Let's do it one more time before we start. All right, sounds like you're ready for the story. There's nothing to do, and I'm feeling so blue with all I've been through. You'd be feeling blue, too. Mm. I live in the zoo on the banks of Peru with a wonderful view, but I'm still quite blue. Mm. You see, I am new making this zoo debut as a fine cockatoo, so why am I blue? Mm. Well, just to review, I'm here in the zoo with nothing to do but sit and be blue. Though a cockatoo view might be pleasant for you, if my story you knew, you might feel blue, too. Mm. You see, I was born in Zulu, where my white feathers grew, and I hadn't a clue why they'd soon become blue. Mm. At first, it was new being a blue cockatoo. No kind of shampoo could remove my blue hue. But one day as I flew, a net someone threw. I wish I knew who had found this bird blue. Mm. So off we soon flew to a Peruvian zoo. I bid Zulu adieu and began feeling blue. Now they stand in a queue to see me be blue. With each how do you do, I grow even more blue. Mm. But don't misconstrue. Being blue in a zoo beats being found on a menu as blue cockatoo stew. All right, friends, it's finally time we get to sing the entire Down by the Bay song. Remember, for this song, you're going to be my echo. All right, let's check it out. Down by the bay, where the watermelons grow, back to my home, to my home. I dare not go, for if I do, my mother would say, did you ever see a bear combing his hair down by the bay, down by the bay, down by the where the watermelons grow back to my home? I dare not go, for if I do, my mother would say, Did you ever see llamas wearing pajamas down by the bay, down by the bay, down by the bay? Where the watermelons grow, back to my home, I dare not go, for if I do, my mother would say, 
Did you ever see a whale with a polka dotted tail down by the bay, down by the bay, where the watermelons grow? Back to my home, I dare not go. For if I do, my mother would say, Did you ever see a bee with a sunburned knee down by the bay, down by the bay? Where the watermelons grow Back to my home I dare not go For if I do My mother would say Did you ever see a goose Kissing a moose Down by the bay <laughs> Oh, hi there I was just taking a break from making videos for you, and I thought maybe I would enjoy some of this delicious pie that I have here. Mmm. I can't wait. I wonder what kind it is. Oh, I love so many different kinds of pie. I love apple pie and pumpkin pie, strawberry pie, rhubarb pie. Ooh, I can't wait to find out what kind of pie this one is. Let's see. Oh my, no more pie, pie's too sweet, I want a piece of meat, meat's too red, I want a piece of bread. Bread's too brown, I think I'll go to town. Town's too far, I think I'll take the car. Car won't go, I, I fell and stubbed my toe. Toe gives me pain, I think I'll take the train. Train had a wreck, I fell and hurt my neck. Oh my, no more pie. That's kind of a silly song about not having any more pie, isn't it? You know what? This song is an echo song, kind of like Down by the Bay, and I'd love for you to sing it with me. All you have to do is sing after me. I'll sing, then you sing, kind of like this. If I sing, oh my, you would sing, oh my, making sure you're using that good voice. Can you try it with me? I'll go first, then you sing after me. Oh my, oh my, no more pie, no more pie, pie's too sweet. I want a piece of meat, meat's too red. I want a piece of bread. Bread's too brown. I think I'll go to town. Town's too far. I think I'll take the car. Car won't go. I fell and stubbed my toe. Toe gives me pain. I think I'll take the train. Train had a wreck. I fell and hurt my neck. Oh my. No more pie. All right, friends, I have another great story for you this week. This one is called Over in the Meadow. Enjoy. Over in the meadow, in the sand, in the sun, lived an old mother turtle and her little turtle one. 
Dig, said the mother, I dig, said the one. So he dug and was glad in the sand in the sun. Over in the meadow where the tall grasses grew lived an old mother fox and her little foxes too. Run, said the mother, we run, said the two. So they ran and were glad where the tall grasses grew. Over in the meadow, in a nest in the tree, lived an old mother robin and her little birdies three. Sing, said the mother, we sing, said the three. So they sang and were glad in that nest in the tree. Over in the meadow in a tall sycamore lived an old mother chipmunk and her little chipmunks four. Play, said the mother, we play, said the four. So they played and were glad in that tall sycamore. Over in the meadow in a new little hive lived an old mother bee and her honeybees five. Buzz, said the mother, we buzz, said the five. So they buzzed and were glad in their new little hive. Over in the meadow in a dam built of sticks lived an old mother beaver and her little beaver's six. Build, said the mother, we build, said the six. So they built and were glad in the dam built of sticks. Over in the meadow in the green wet bogs lived an old mother froggy and her seven pollywogs. Swim, said the mother, we swim, said the wogs. So they swam and were glad in the green wet bogs. Over in the meadow, as the day grew late, lived an old mother owl and her little owls eight. Wink, said the mother, we wink, said the eight. So they winked and were glad as the day grew late. Over in the meadow, in a web on the pine, lived an old mother spider and her little spider's nine. Spin, said the mother, we spin, said the nine. So they spun and were glad in their web on the pine. Over in the meadow, in a warm little den, lived an old mother rabbit and her little bunnies ten. Hop, said the mother, we hop, said the ten. So they hopped and were glad in their warm little den. (laughs) 